gentlemen, we've been working the uh, floor of ITSEC, and every so often we'll come up on a good-looking display and good-looking technology, and out in the corner, or predominantly in some place, it says Microsoft ESP. Well, for those of us who don't understand what Microsoft ESP is, tell all. Microsoft ESP is a visual simulation development platform that uh, we're bringing to the market to serve the training and learning, decision support, and uh, R&D modeling for the government and commercial markets. Um, it is based on 25 year legacy that Microsoft has been building around flight simulation, particularly our Microsoft Flight Simulator code base. Uh, and we're bringing that to market as a development platform uh, for partners and customers to build visual simulation solutions for those three categories I mentioned. With its origins in quote unquote games like uh, Flight Simulator, I don't think people realize just how much uh, of a brain trust has, has brought this to, to fore. Working with some of your flight simulator folks over the years, I am amazed at the technology that's been brought into this. Uh, while, quote unquote, it came out of toys, this is anything but. That's very true. As a matter of fact, some of the aspects that we have in the platform that allows us to visualize the world, a dynamic living world, um, surprise some people. Uh, the level of detail we go in our atmospheric model for weather modeling, um, the fact that we can have birds flying in the air, uh, as well as cars on the ground, as well as uh, trains and boats and, and planes. Um, they, it's not just an aviation entertainment product, and that's what we're coming to the market with in ESP. It's a simulation platform, a very full-featured one. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. The defense market is a very discriminating market. Let's face it, they've got rules, regs, books, and specifications for virtually everything. Uh, how is the defense community dealing with Microsoft entering their market? We're, we're a little early in that phase. However, uh, one of the things that we're focusing on is not just a defense market. We're, we're focused on bringing a visual simulation development platform to the market that covers not just the defense industry, but government, non-military, non uh, corporate and academic worlds to use this as a platform for building solutions. The defense industry might expect us to build into our platform specific things that are pertinent to defense. Our whole vision is around a partner relationship and building a platform that partners could then build on the specific needs of the defense industry for what they need to do for militaries around the world. Microsoft is not exactly a small company, but how big a uh, program is this for Microsoft? The studio itself is about 130 people. Uh, the Microsoft Worldwide Sales and Marketing Organization is about 30,000 people, of which the public sector group is the largest. So they're going to be keenly interested in how does this technology help them solve their public sector customers' uh, problems. And as we get it into the market with our partners, as we get it into the market with our customers, they will advise us on what we need to do to enhance it. Our, our field sales teams will advise us on what we need to do to make it more readily available. Uh, for both those partners and for customers around the world. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500. The jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. One of the things I've been very impressed with in looking at various versions of the flight sim is how accurate the aerodynamic modeling has been for airplanes that I know really well. I'm, I, I love the fact that uh, the yaw rates on the extra 300 are just nailed. Uh, uh, just a number, or for that matter, just the way that the 747-400 the, uh, the behaves on an engine cut at cruise, that kind of thing. It's really well done. 
how do you gather this data? I know there's I mean, there's a number of facets to ESP, the, the aircraft, the aerodynamic modeling, the weather modeling as you're talking about. How do you put together this kind of information? We have a number of very, very passionate people, as you might imagine, on the team. And uh, many, many pilots um, from all walks, from civil to commercial to military, as well as several aeronautical engineers. So we have the passion and we go out and we work with um, partners, uh, such as major companies who provide the aircraft to get as much data as we can. And the process that we go through for actually detailing out a model is uh, pretty complex from going out and placing mics around and renting time on a given aircraft to get the 5.1 surround sound that we provide in the product to uh, getting flight manuals and all the data um, on the aerodynamics that we can find to actually hone and refine the flight model that actually ends up in the aircraft in the product. So. It's a quite long process. Yeah. And where does it go from here? You, you've made your debut. You're obviously making quite an impact in very short order. But then again, you are Microsoft. Where do you go from here? Well, it's uh, block and tackle, the usual routine. We have to get it into customers who are going to actually stress it, give us the feedback on what we need to do. Uh, we're not getting into the, the solutions building business, but we are going to work with partners uh, who are able to do that. Um, the sky's the limit in the sense of what's potentially possible in terms of visual simulation for the masses. Um, and certainly you know the Microsoft model, so you know that we have a way of getting our message out wherever there's a Windows platform. We are very partner and, and customer driven. So we've now um, launched version one, you know, which will be available, available January 1st. We're now focused internally in the product team on, on defining what V2 is and engaging with our customers and partners to make sure that we have the right set of capabilities moving forward. So, Gentlemen, thank you very much. Oh, you're more than welcome, Jim. Thanks. Thank you very much.